Hey there, welcome back to my channel, CT Caring Touch Massage. My name is Carla, and on this channel, um, I make videos and talk about massage, wellness, um, positivity, uh, manifestation, and all things of that genre um, to spread happiness and positivity and love into the world and to yourself. So today I'm going to talk about um, foot massaging. And you might be able to see here, um, it may be difficult, but I brought up a map of foot reflexology and um, you can just Google it and find it for yourself. And in case you didn't know, there's um, different places on the feet correspond to different organs and places in our body. So for example, the sinuses are all across the tips of your toes and your lung is here and your stomach is here and your thyroid is here. And so if you're having issues with any of those places in your body, um, you can rub your feet and it's supposed to disperse the energy and, and help that part of your body. So it's actually pretty fascinating. Um, it's part of Chinese massage and, um, and I learned it um, in massage school. And so, yeah, it's pretty well known, the, um, the foot reflexology. So today I'm going to just talk about basic ways that you yourself can massage your feet. And obviously we would like someone else to do this for us, but um, it's not always the case when you get home from work. Um, Personally, I work on a concrete floor, and it doesn't matter if I wear heels or flats, um, it's the impact of being on concrete all day long that's really, I've seen a difference um, in my foot pain um, since I took that job. So I have to pay a lot of attention um, to elevating my feet when I get home, um, and massaging them, and um, stretching and all of that. One thing that you can use is a foot roller, and I love this one. This is made of wood, and I definitely recommend a wood one as opposed to a plastic one. I feel like this is better. And you put it on the floor. You might not be able to see here, but you can direct the amount of pressure and place that you're getting on your feet. So I'll show you up here. It's pretty much just what you do. You just roll your foot around here. And because it's on the floor, you can decide how much pressure you're putting on, like, standing harder on it or whatever like that. But this is a game changer and a lifesaver and it will prevent you from getting uh, plantar fasciitis for sure. If you can roll out your feet at the end of the day, at least a few times a week. And another thing that you can do is, um, is stretching out your calf because your calf comes down underneath here, this tendon, and you definitely want to make sure that your calf is stretched out. Um, way that you can do that is to pull your toes back and make sure you're getting a whole good calf stretch like this and it's definitely going to affect the whole bottom of your foot and prevent you from getting that plantar fasciitis that is so incredibly painful. So I'll just show you a couple of techniques. I take my thumbs here and I just sort of move my thumbs around my foot finding places that hurts. Um, you can direct the amount of pressure that you want. Um, especially in the arch area, this is usually tight and you can take your thumb like this and sort of go horizontally across like this. And you're going to feel tight places for sure. <laughs> you know, massage the balls of your feet. Um, if you're having sinus issues, you massage the tips of your toes. You should open up your sinuses. And definitely don't forget the heel area. I feel like especially with the plantar fasciitis, it's all in the heel and you might actually feel like little rocks type of like little bumps that you can um, try to disperse with your thumb like that. So you can also get it from this angle and sort of spread like this or you can just go down in like lines like this just down the length of your foot. I'm sure that anything you do is better than no foot massage at all and it's really going to help and then after you do your foot massage um, you could also use cream or some oil if you prefer. Um, I sort of like it without, but um, if you prefer, and then you sort of just like put your feet up after and, um, and let the blood flow and, um, and relax your feet because we have to walk on them for the rest of our lives. So yeah, so I hope that this was helpful. I hope that, um, that you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that you will um, try massaging your own feet and actually see that it does work and it does benefit you. And um, so yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment, let me know that you did it, like, subscribe to my channel for more helpful information um, in wellness and just general positivity and love. Have a wonderful day. See you next time.